Back for the mid-season break then with the July meeting at Newmarket. Kicking things off and the first race is a good one. It's a Group 1 one mile race and we've got a lot of previous winners in this one. The top one is Alignment Tapestry for Leon van Rensburg. Best life for Darren Thompson and still in love Leon van Rensburg and newcomers. Shorter Dream David Hooley. Two doors down Ryan Tamasebi. A Royal Ascot winner. Derby Rising. For, Dave, for David Robertson, Diamond Encrusted and Dushes of Waterloo for Paul Rhodes, Gold Noncore and Grovey Project for Craig Allen, Magna Poppy for Steve Rann, Royal Seamstress for Jim Murray, Sierra Cosworth for Dan Hughes, So True Holly McCormack, Taishan Santanyi for Vinnie Gerard and West Modeste for Darren Thompson. They're all installed, the rain's coming down and away they go. A little bit slow to go was So True, but they make their way through the first furlong or so and Bursting up the centre of the track, Dushes of Waterloo wants to look at the lead, but so too does Royal Seamstress down on this near side. Royal Seamstress pulling for a head, and the jockey's letting her have the lead with Diamond Encrusted up the centre of the track. They're split into two groups right over on the far side. Best Life leads that group, being chased by Magna Poppy, but down on this near side, Royal Seamstress is the leader. And probably a good two lengths clear of Diamond Encrusted in the centre of the track in second. Right over on the far side, Magna Poppy Dush to Waterloo. Down on this near side, is trying to get into it as well. Also, close up alignment, Tapestry is their best life. Still in love, trying to make a forward move. Sure to dream is the back marker at the moment, but it's still Royal Seamstress. And as they come down to the midway point in this one, and Royal Seamstress leads by a couple of lengths to Magna Poppy right over on the far side. Down on this near side, Dushes of Waterloo, Sierra Cosworth, the Greys now getting into the intercon tension as well also trying to run on West Modeste is now coming through with a strong looking challenge but there's still three furlongs to go and Royal Seamstress is in the lead from West Modeste who's now burst through to challenge in second place down on this near side Grovey Project Sierra Cosworth touches of Waterloo one or two of these haven't gone into it at all but it's West Modeste who's about a head in front now but Grovey Project is throwing down a big challenge inside the final furlong and a half they go it's West Modeste from Grovey Project West Modeste just about in front but Grovey Project wearing it down it's West Modeste Grovey Project just in front Grovey Project Sierra Cosworth trying to run on it's Grovey Project and West Modest. Here comes Sierra Cosworth inside the final half. Well, it's Grovey Project, West Modest, and now Duchess of Waterloo as well, but flashing past the post. It's Grovey Project that takes it. Duchess of Waterloo, gold non corners next. And the Royal Ascot winner, two doors down, didn't get into that at all today. Maybe the rain, the soft ground, possibly. But Grovey Project, back to winning ways, takes it. Oh, Craig Allen, so there it is then, Grovey Project. For Craig Allen, the winner. Duchess of Waterloo for Paul Road, second. Gold Noncore for Craig Allen, third. Magna Poppy for Steve Rand was fourth. And the three year olds dominating. The only older horse in the top five, still in love, making its debut for Leon van Rensburg, was fifth. <laughs>